contract. And if you take a magnifying glass and blow it up, it's an actual contract that you're signing. That every time you sign your name on the dotted line and you pass that check across the counter, you're giving that person access to your bank account and your finances. Are you following me? All right. All right, let's talk about music now. Music and speaking sounds. Music is used to calm patients in hospitals, to stimulate sexual arousal, to get shoppers in the mood to spend money, excite crowds at football and basketball games. It was used to communicate to soldiers in the battlefield and rituals and ceremonies, all right? And religious rites, let's understand that. I talked about Beyonce morphing herself into Sasha Fierce, which I said was demonic possession, all right? Let's take a look at this. LeBron James said he was happy to be on the cover of Vogue. So if we're talking about Black History Month and putting the pieces of the puzzle together, this should be a shame. Are you following me? But instead of looking at it, let's look in it. How many people know this? Are they being used as a front company? Are you following me? We have to understand these things. Understand it in a different kind of way. This is how come we argue with your girl sometimes, your wife. 
She don't mean the two physical eyes. She means the third eye. We just not there. Are you following me? Okay, cool. Gotcha. Seven up knows that also. This is why come they created the seven up, which is the seven chakras, and the energy goes up. The energy is called the kundalini, which taps into the pituitary gland or the pineal gland. That pituitary gland is responsible for releasing hormones in the body. So there's nothing wrong with you. Here's something wrong with you. Let me take that back. I should have shown you the mating procedure. Yeah, we want to meet somebody in the club just because you have a few, you dancing with them, you don't vibe with one another. That don't mean you got to take them back to the dorm room. So the mating procedure should start from the crown chakra down, not the root chakra up. Are you following me? We have to understand that the seven up knows that. This is how coming the seven chakras up, starting in the red chakra, which is the root chakra up. Red Bull knows that also. This is how the Red Bull slogan was what? It gives you wings. It also gives you anxiety, dizziness, headaches, jitters, and it's a normal sleep. You should ask Flavor Flav down. But anyway, <laughs> how to eat to live, not how to live to eat. to the hospital, dead. The few other artists we can mention. Help me decode what's on the screen and then we'll get 
and you love it. You see the movies? You, excuse me? Oh, okay. I'm loving it. Why? Why? When I went to study for this particular uh, book, the uh, psychological cover on hip hop, and I studied hundreds of entertainment magazines looking for advertisements, I kept finding the yoni. You know what the yoni is, right? And I'm reading all of it today. You know what the yoni is? It was the woman's private part. All right? Do you see it? I even circled it for you so you can see it. This is the part of the lecture where you got to look in it instead of at it. Even maybe those kind of faces right there. So that's cool. But make sure you look in it. I'm going to show you a few more. Do you see the yoni? You see, it's there. It's there, but because you're not seeing the literate, it becomes a problem and the language gets right by you. How about this? <laughs> killing at the Lorraine Motel. Who got murdered at the Lorraine Motel? Dr. Martin Luther King. to hip hop. 
stop in about four minutes. How many people are still drinking the monster drink? The crossover rain was actually the exit out of the Headphones just came out a couple of years ago. They made a couple of commercials. This is one of the commercials where they show you the 666. That may have gotten by you, but I'm sure this one didn't because I've seen it in, um, in the cap, cafeteria. See, we have to start looking into things instead of at things. Are you following me? This is the Coca-Cola bottle shaped like a woman. But if you look close enough and you look in it instead of at it, you'll see someone having a very, well, I can't say a good time, but it says feel the curve. What does this mean? Someone is doing something very, very sexual in the ice cube from the bottle. Oh. Well, you see, this is geared and aimed at young people. Are you following me? We have to understand this and God against this. This was said made by the best. But when you turn the advertisement upside down, what is she doing? Thank you. Excuse me? Oh, simply because it doesn't say sun kiss, it says sin kiss. Oh, no, no, that was a picture I took in L.A. when I went to the bathroom at this little, it wasn't, a, yeah, one of them kind of places anyway. All right, so these are the 13 bloodlines. I'm going to get to this hip-hop thing. I want to give you, just after I lay this out, I want to dive into the hip-hop. I got to skip over a lot of things. But these are the 13 families. They use. 
Some of the um, advertisements are very obvious. Some of them are all too obvious. Some of them are almost embarrassing to the point where it says love's baby soft because innocence is sexier than you think. Okay. We were just about to talk about Disney, but real, what, did I miss something? Oh, okay. Very interesting. White artists that went through the, being um, Mouseketeers ended up on the top of black music charts in black music. I said, well, what's wrong with that? Right? No, absolutely nothing wrong with that. But five and six at the same time and all of them were Mouseketeers, I think that's kind of like, yeah, okay. So Walt Disney, I was a Mouseketeer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But some of the other people that were on the top of black music charts were also Mouseketeers. I call it mind control. I don't know what you call it. But this is what's going on in popular entertainment, especially marrying itself on to and these are some of the individuals. Unbeknownst to them, and follow me, we have to understand that. So we're even when we get down to cartoons, in the, uh, uh, when it comes to Disney, we start to see the phallic symbols and whatnot that they hide in the advertisement. She just straight up pulled up a dress, just spying heaven. In The Lion King, it spells out sex. I don't know if y'all have been on this ride right here. <laughs> no. After you come down off your emotion, let's try to reason now. Why? That's what we have to understand. But when you come out of the womb, you're a perpetual consumer. This is how come they put out a new iPhone and they know it has this malfunction and it don't work, but you still go buy it. This is why a friend of mine by the name of Carla Del Joaquin cannot stop going to um, Starbucks, buying five dollar cups of damn coffee. Cups of coffee is fifty cents. Excuse me, excuse me, brother. I'm sorry. Cups of coffee are fifty cents. Why are we spending five dollars? Don't you want me twenty dollars? Yo, change. How can they pull over on us though? You go anywhere else, coffee is fifty cents. You go to Starbucks, you pay five. And you don't mind. You see, they said, I heard one time, Americans are the only people that will fight for our right to be the children. Advertisement that went up in the 70s from United Colors of Benetton. Demonizing the black child, but uh, celebrating the white angel. Demonizing the black child. These are advertisements. This is what I'm pulling out of Entertainment Magazine, and I'm sure that one got higher than another one. No, 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 we can't do that. They, they, we'll just have to catch up on the little yellow bus. <laughs> Hold on one second. Don't go nowhere. Just want to bring a few more things to your attention, and then I'll close, and uh, we'll break the museum down. Can we do that? Oprah went to Australia recently, in Melbourne, uh, Australia. She seen a mammy doll being sold. As much money as Oprah had, she could not stop racism in that head. Are you following me? She couldn't write enough zeros on the check to get this woman in that store to stop selling the mammy dolls. It's a lie, and well, we have to understand that, and it's going on in Hip hop. So let's take a look at some of your favorite artists. 
Now, you can respect the fact that uh, I should respect Drake as a fellow according to All right? But I'm saying, even if I do, what's with the 666 that you're talking about? Can I have a discussion with this young brother about that? Are you following me? At least, let's have a basic discussion about it. Because I don't stand sorry for him. And if he's sitting in the audience today, he probably don't stand for public enemy. When we came out, we wanted to raise the conscious level of people to get them to understand that we're using music to speak a message to raise people's consciousness level. The entire human family, not only black people. So when we heard Brian had to flash in the family's life, although we didn't wear tight leather pants, we just understood what they were saying, you know. Are you following me? It was a vibration, it was something coming from the Bronx that we had to get involved in. Because it was causing us. Strong black male images. The music industry was not going for it, so they'd rather have a flavor of love under one roof. Flavor fried chicken and this kind of madness. So you follow me? Because it's easy. Now, your shorties are viewing public enemy through the eyes of flavor of love and this kind of madness. 